Five Tips for Avoiding Procrastination Procrastination is the bane of working from home. If you're someone who works at home regularly, then you absolutely need to learn to avoid the temptation to spend the first hour and a half doing nothing at all. Otherwise, you're suddenly working five-hour days instead of eight-hour days, and that's something your employers and clients are going to notice. In this presentation, we're going to look at five tips for crushing procrastination. Accountability The problem is that there is no accountability for procrastination. This is why it is worse for those that work from home versus those that work in an office. In an office, people are looking over your shoulder, but here you can do whatever you like. One solution is to create stakes for yourself. An easy way to do that? Email your client and tell them that you're going to finish X amount of work and send it to them daily. Suddenly, the option to sit on your thumbs for the first few days on a project is gone. Work in a coffee shop. This won't always be possible depending on your circumstances, but when it is, working in a coffee shop or library is a great way to add some social pressure to your day. You can't sit playing Sonic the Hedgehog now because people will think you're odd. Speaking of which, coffee works great too. Set rewards. Try setting yourself small rewards for accomplishing set amounts of work each day. For example, if you finish the first 2,000 words of an essay you're writing, only then can you give yourself a cup of coffee. Make the project fun. Often, we put things off simply because we don't want to do them. This is why procrastination tends to rear its ugly head more when we're doing particularly dull and dry tasks. The solution is to find a way to make that task more interesting. For example, you might find a way to gamify it, or you may just find a way to add more creativity to the project. Rest properly. Finally, make sure you have some proper downtime and fun during your time off. Often we procrastinate because there are other things we want to do. If you never have time to play video games, read books, or browse Facebook, then that will start creeping into your work. So actually enjoy your time off and you should find this changes. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.